and welcome to Svenglish, where you can learn English with Sven. Today we are looking at the past simple questions. I already made videos about the past simple positive and past simple negative and other videos, so feel free to check out those videos, explore them and have a look if you want to. But the focus for this video is on past simple questions. So we will look at you know, what are they and how and when do we use them. Then we will look at the structure and look at different examples with different subjects. And then there will be time for you to practice at the end. So the past simple question form is used to ask about completed actions in the past. Doesn't matter if it's about something from one second ago or a hundred years ago, as long as it was in the past, okay? And sometimes we will include a reference to time, but the context will determine that. So we might say things like yesterday or last week or in 2010, but we don't have to do that. We don't always do that, okay? Um, I will say now uh, just that you should remember to add a question mark at the end, okay, if you are writing, all right? If you're speaking, then the question mark is just like implied, all right? So always remember to add that question mark at the end of your questions if you're writing this. Now, if you are at work, then you will use the past simple questions to ask about completed actions. So you would say things like, did you finish the report? Um, did you send the email? Um, did you meet the client yesterday? If you were like on holiday, speaking in English, talking to people, then you might say things like, oh, did you try the restaurant? Or did you go to the museum? Or um, did you find the shop? Things like that, okay? So in terms of the structure, um, what we do is we use did, followed by the subject, followed by the base form of the verb, and then a complement if we want. And don't forget that question mark as well at the end. Okay, now we don't conjugate the verb into the past because the auxiliary did is already expressing the past. All right, so we start with did, so we know it's a question and we know it's in the past. Okay, did, then subject, then the verb in the base form and then the complement. So let's have a look at some examples with some different subjects, all right? So did I work hard yesterday? Did, so we start with did, then the subject I, then the verb in the base form, so work, and then the complement hard yesterday. Did I work hard yesterday? Question mark. OK, uh, and then uh, let's look at some more examples. Did he play football last week? Did she finish the report? Did it rain yesterday? Did we study last night? Did you make pasta for dinner? Did they go out for a walk? OK, now it's time for you to practice. See if you can remember the structure that we looked at earlier. OK, I will give you um, some sentences with all the words in the wrong order. I want you to remember that structure. So we start with the auxiliary did, then we have the subject, then we have the verb in the base form and then we have the complement. And I want you to put those words back into the correct order. Let's try the first one together, okay? Work hard, I yesterday did. So we start with the auxiliary did, then we have the subject I, then we have the verb in the base form work, and then we have the complement hard yesterday. Did I work hard yesterday? Try this one. Football, he play last week, 
dead. Did he play football last week? How about this one? Finish the report. Did she? Did she finish the report? Rain it did yesterday. Did it rain yesterday? Um, study last night we did. Did we study last night? Pasta you make for dinner did? Did you make pasta for dinner? Last one. For a walk, they go did? Did they go for a walk? How did you get on? Did you get everything right? I hope you did. If you didn't, you have to go back and watch the video again and try again, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Um, please put your examples of questions in the past simple into the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you again soon for more Svenglish, where you can learn English with Sven. Bye.